Hello, 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 and welcome to Courageously Kind. I'm Maddie. And I'm Liz. We're twin sisters and best friends. Together, we share stories of especially kind humans doing especially kind things in hopes that these conversations motivate and inspire you to be kinder to yourself and others. When we're not speaking with an incredible guest, we'll speak directly from our hearts about what it means to us to be courageously kind. Our guest this past week was Tyler Fetter, who is the author of an incredible book called Bodies Are Cool. (laughs) So today, we thought we would share some tips that we have found to be helpful for being more cool with our bodies. Does that make sense? I love that. (laughs) I think that body image issues and self-acceptance is something that is way more common than we might realize. Sometimes when I'm feeling down about myself, about my body, I I sort of feel like I'm the only person in the world that feels that way. Mm -hmm. I don't know why that is. Maybe it's just because we don't talk about it enough, but I just, I feel like it it really is way more common than people realize. Yeah, you know, I think it it kind of comes from society. Totally. You know, we, we talked in one of our media classes about media influencing society Mm -hmm. and vice versa Mm -hmm. Uh, but it's really kind of a vicious cycle where we have this image of of what beauty looks like what Mm -hmm. healthy looks like Mm -hmm. in terms of of the body yeah and it's just being perpetuated over and over and over again yeah to sell us products yeah or to make us really to make us buy things or yeah try to achieve a certain goal but it, it's really dangerous. Totally. And it really affects our mental health. Totally. And you can hear the word, I feel like, unrealistic, you know, body image or unrealistic expectations. And you're like, yeah, okay, that makes sense. But when you really think about that, mm-hmm. the thought of like, my body may never look like what the standard of beauty is. <laughs> and like, that's a hard thing to wrap your head around. But like, who is making these standards? I feel like we've yes. talked about this before. Yeah. Who is, like, setting the bar to this this place of, like, why does that matter to yeah. us? Yeah. And I think there's a, an element of, like, we, you know, in some ways really do set the bar and set mm-hmm. the standard. And we have the power to shift the standard and not buy into these, like, unrealistic expectations of us and of our bodies. Absolutely. And, you know, I think one of the ways we shift the standards and really start to be kinder to ourselves is to Mm -hmm. be kind to others. Yeah. To compliment and see the beauty in other people more. I think when you're constantly looking for the beauty in other people, Mm -hmm. it's easier to see it in ourselves. Totally. I love that. I think another thing that we... I feel like I've mentioned this on the podcast before, but something that I find to be true is that when I'm feeling bad about myself, when I am nitpicking my body image, you know what I mean? Something about myself, about my body, about my appearance, I tend to be more unkind to the people around me. And, you know, it makes sense if I'm hurting, if I'm feeling bad, that that can be infectious. Mm -hmm. But it's also, I think, my responsibility, if I'm feeling bad about myself, to address that. I owe that to myself, but I also owe it to the people around me, too. You know what I mean? If Absolutely. If my self-unkindness, <laughs> I don't want to say self-hatred, but if my yeah, self- Self-negativity? Negativity yeah, towards yourself? Negativity towards myself affects the people around me. You know, at the very least, I love and care about the people around mm-hmm. me enough to- look at that and address that mm-hmm. and do what I can to, to change that and to shift that. And, and, you know, maybe it starts with just addressing what you're feeling. Yeah, Sort totally. of take a, a neutral approach. Mm-hmm. I kind of have a fix-it mindset of, like, mm-hmm. whenever I feel a certain way or something's happening around me, my go-to is to fix it right away. Mm-hmm. How do I get rid of the feeling, mm-hmm. get rid of the problem, anything like that? But sometimes just noticing... Mm-hmm what you're feeling and sitting with that feeling from a place of neutrality yeah from a place of okay this is an emotion Mm -hmm. and it will pass Mm -hmm. that can sometimes be the first step you know because sometimes you look in the mirror and you don't really like what you see and tell yourself i'm beautiful doesn't stick Mm -hmm. you could say it but it doesn't really stick to you Mm -hmm. so sometimes finding a place 
again of neutrality and mm-hmm. saying, you know what? My ears help me hear. Mm-hmm. My nose helps me smell amazing smell. Mm-hmm. And being just grateful for that function mm-hmm. can sometimes help as a first step. Totally. To loving those qualities by yourself. Totally. You know, I have found that helpful with anxiety, too. Mm-hmm. When I feel feelings of anxiety, I used to really beat myself up about, like, mm-hmm. why am I feeling this? Am I not taking good enough care of myself? But instead, I, I sort of shifted and I tried to shift to a mindset of, like, this is just something I'm feeling and experiencing right now. Yeah. Feelings pass. They don't last forever. And I don't have to place judgment. I don't have to get more angry or upset at myself yeah. for experiencing you know, something that all of us experience from time to time. Mm-hmm. Totally. Totally. Something I I never really believed in, but sort of found myself doing is like faking it till you make it. <laughs> they say that with like tips for confidence and that sort of thing of like, even if you don't feel confident, like stand and walk like you're confident. And, and I think that sometimes that can be helpful with self-talk and with the words that we say to ourselves like you said sometimes in that mindset shifting from a really negative to a really positive is not not necessarily productive or helpful Mm -hmm. but I think that little switches can be helpful and productive so little moments throughout your day of like I might not like this but I like this Mm -hmm. or I might be frustrated with my hair because it's so humid and I can't stand it (laughs) but this is what I can do. You know what I mean? Just sort of little shifts. It doesn't have to be like radical, you know, oh, I don't like myself. Oh, I love myself. Yeah. That's something that doesn't necessarily happen overnight. Yeah. But I think you can, you know, even just like little positive affirmations mm-hmm. can really help and really go a long way. Yeah, absolutely. And when you feel yourself in a very negative mindset, if you're feeling really down, it helps to kind of shower yourself mm-hmm. with love yeah. and kindness. Yeah. Even if that's nothing to do with your appearance. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You can love yourself and give yourself grace and kindness mm-hmm. and not even think about your appearance if if it's something that you can't even bring to mind. Yeah. Yeah. I love the thought of, like, just showering yourself with kindness mm-hmm. when you are in those those just maybe negative head spaces. Something I like to do too is like when I'm feeling down or just kind of not great mentally, I like to kind of pretend like I'm physically sick in the sense of I make sure I'm getting extra rest. I make sure I'm getting lots of hydration. I'm taking a nice hot shower. I'm going to bed early. Those sort of things I think can really help and and even if it's not necessarily maybe body image you struggle with, maybe it's just, you know, you feel down sometimes. I think showering yourself with kindness and with love is so, so important. Absolutely. And, you know, another thing is appreciation. We touched on it a little bit, but just being appreciative for your body and what your body can do for you. Focusing on what it does for you every day and how it helps you move through the world. Mm-hmm. Whatever that looks like, it looks different for everyone. But finding those moments to look for the gratitude Mm -hmm. for your body. And I know sometimes that can be hard. But being grateful for what your body can offer you Mm -hmm. is also a great spot to be in when you don't have it in you to say, like, I love myself. (laughs) That's a great place to start, too. Just being grateful for what you can do. Totally. Yeah. And again, I think... Even if you don't wholeheartedly believe it, even if you aren't wholeheartedly grateful, I'm a big believer in fake it till you make it. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So, you know, even just like writing that out or, you know, journaling about it, saying it out loud or just thinking about it and and reflecting on on gratitude and gratitude for your body and your appearance is very helpful. can go a long way, for sure. It's also totally okay to say I want to talk to someone else about this Mm -hmm. there are counselors and therapists and mental health professionals and life coaches out there that specialize in body image and improving body image we this season chat with a body image educator (laughs) who was just so awesome and can't wait for you to hear that episode um so if this is something that you are interested in want to learn more about definitely stay tuned for that for sure um but yeah talking to a professional is sometimes one of the best things that you can do for yourself. Talking to someone is so important. Absolutely. You know, we all have days where we don't feel pretty. We don't 
feel great about our appearance, but if you notice it being a daily feeling, if you notice that it's getting in the way of things that you love, mm-hmm. if it's really preoccupying your brain mm-hmm. in a way that you can't, that all these other steps that we just talked about mm-hmm. doesn't help, mm-hmm. that is okay. And that there are people out there that are trained to help you through those feelings. Totally. Totally. And there's no shame in that. Yeah. No shame at all. Not at all. Absolutely. Absolutely. I also think it's just important to take it one day at a time. You know, like Liz said, if you notice that it is a is a pattern, it's something that is affecting your life in a substantial way, obviously do what you need to do and get the help that you need. But also, I have days where I wake up and I don't feel great about myself. Mm-hmm. And I have nights where I go to bed and I still don't feel great about myself. But sometimes I wake up in the morning and I feel a little bit better. And maybe it's just because I needed sleep. But <laughs> a lot can change from day to day. So... If you're not feeling super great about yourself, about your body, I would say just give yourself some time and, of course, do the things you need to do, but understand that feelings come and go and they don't last forever and um, sometimes we just need a little bit of time to, to reflect and process and move through those feelings. Absolutely. For sure. If you liked this mini episode, be sure to check out last week's episode with Tyler Fetter author of Bodies Are Cool and a whole host of other wonderful books. She's also an artist. You can check out her Etsy store at the link in the description of last week's episode. And thank you so much for listening. We really appreciate that you are here. If you liked this episode, feel free to share it with your family or your friends or anyone you think might like it. And take good care. We'll see you back here real soon. Bye. We'd like to give a huge thank you to Anna Waltz Landscape Contracting for their support of Courageously Kind. Anna Waltz is a family-owned landscape contracting company in Berks County that has served Pennsylvania for over 35 years. If you're ready to get your landscaping project started, visit AnnaWaltzLandscape.com or call 610-916-7070. Anna Waltz Landscape Contracting, beautifying Pennsylvania one yard at a time. Thank you so much for listening. If you like this episode, feel free to share it with your friends, your family, or anyone you think might like it too. And if you want to support the show, leave us a review on Spotify or Apple Podcasts. It really does help. Or check out our merch store at courageouslykind.org. Take good care, and we'll see you back here real soon.